Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again coming to you from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. The title of our article today is The Global Challenges Prize 2017. So if you know the word global, it means all over the world. And challenges prize, well we'll see. It's a reward. A prize is something that you get for doing something great. So we'll see what kind of prize that is and what kind of challenges it's talking about. So it says, do you have any amazing ideas to change the world? So we know that ideas are things that you can think of. So what can you think of that can help the world is our opening sentence. It says, the Global Challenges Prize 2017, a new shape, wants to find new ways to improve the current state of humanity and make a world a better place or make the world a better place. So here it says they want to find out if you have any ideas that can make the world and all the people living in it, what can you do to help it or make it better? So state is what it is right now. So it's state in Korean, I believe is hangte. So it's talking about the current hangte of all the people in the world, as well as how can you make this world a better place to live in? So that's what the contest is about, a new shape. How can you make the world better? So that's the contest or that's the prize. It says it was launched by the Stockholm based Global Challenges Foundation to find out new solutions to deal with the most serious threats to humanity, including extreme poverty, weapons of mass destruction and climate change. So that's a long sentence. Let's take it apart. So it says it was launched by that means it was started by. So if you see a rocket going to space, they said they're launching the rocket. So that means they're starting it. It's starting to uh, begin. So it was begun. It begun uh, by the Stockholm based Global Challenges Foundation. So this is a group uh, that's based in Stockholm uh, and they want to uh, find out new ways to solve solution is solve or answers new ways to solve uh, and deal with the most serious problems that we face uh, as people. So they're including extreme poverty. Extreme means very, very severe or very strong uh, poverty. Poverty means having no money. So we see a lot of people in the world who are living in very bad conditions because they don't have money. So that's extreme poverty. Weapons of mass destruction are like those nuclear weapons. Uh, mass means very large and destruction means that you destroy, you break everything, you ruin things. So we're dealing with very, very poor people around the world. We're also dealing with very, very dangerous weapons and climate change. Climate change is when the world is getting hotter. So uh, we can see that in the world right now uh, in Antarctica, a lot of the ice uh, is melting because the planet is getting warmer because of pollution and many other things. So they're saying that these are the main problems. And if you can find a way to solve any of these, you might have a chance to win this prize. Let's look at the second paragraph. It says the Swedish billionaire Laszlo Zambat Falvi, who hosts the prize competition, told Swedish business magazine Vekins Afar that the biggest threats to humanity stem from the global community's inability to deal with them effectively. So we see um, Mr. Laszlo uh, Zambat Falvi, who is a billionaire from the country of Sweden. And he is the person who is hosting or putting on this prize competition. So this contest, uh, he told their newspaper or a magazine in Sweden that the biggest problem of mankind is because we are unable to inability means unable to and we're unable to solve or deal with uh, the problems, the biggest threats, the biggest dangers to all the people in the world. Right. And the global community means all the people around the world. So because we're unable to deal with these important problems in a very effective way, in a very hokkajogin way, because of that, that's the biggest danger to humans because we cannot solve these problems that are very important. The last paragraph, it says it is open to everyone. So you and I can join uh, either individuals or organizations who can apply for the proposals in six languages, including English, Mandarin, Spanish, Russian, Arabic or French. So anybody can join the competition either by yourself, right? Individuals or organizations. You can do it as a group or a company. And all of these uh, ideas that you bring, these proposals, you can do it in six languages. So it doesn't have to be just English. You can also do it in Chinese, Mandarin, Spanish, Russian, Arabic or French. 
Uh, no Korean here, so we're going to have to use English if you want to go uh, and make a team from Korea. A total of $5 million is at stake and the highest total prize money will be $1 million. So there's $5 million that's given as a total prize, so there might be more than one prize. And $5 million, that's about 50 in Korean won. Uh, and that's what you can win. Uh, and the total highest prize will be $1 million. So 10억 if you win the highest prize. Um, so I guess $5 million is split uh, between all the teams, but the first place will get $1 million. Uh, the main criteria they will be judged on uh, will be effectiveness, resourcing, funding, uh, the security implementations and accountability. So let's take a look at this. How will they judge the winners? What are the main areas that they're looking for? It says the main criteria is what they're looking for if you want to win. Uh, so what you need to have is they will be judged on effectiveness. So how much or how well does it work? Um, also resourcing means how are you going to get enough money or how are you going to get enough things that you need so that you can do what you propose to do, what you say is your idea. Funding means how much um, support you can get as far as money from other people. Resourcing, it deals with money, but also the things that you need in order to do it. Uh, so if I'm trying to make uh, a bakery and my resources are all the things that I need in order to make the pies and the cake. Uh, funding means how much money am I getting so I can start my project. And the security implementation, uh, the security of implementation means how sure are you going to fulfill your plan. So many times people have great ideas, but in order for them to fully do their ideas, they need to be sure that when you implement it or when you start to do it or when you use your ideas and put it into action, how safe is that? And the last one is accountability. Accountability means uh, if you've gotten this idea, uh, can people trust you? Can you uh, exactly do what you say that you're going to do? So those are the ideas or those are the ways uh, that the, the contestants, the people who enter the contest, uh, will be judged based on those criteria. So you can't just say, I have a great idea, but you also need to say and, and show uh, what are you going to do with that idea? How are you going to carry it out and how are you going to make sure that it gets finished? So those are all part of how you can win the Global Challenges Prize 2017 in Stockholm, Sweden. So very interesting. A lot of people have great ideas, but a great idea by itself may not win this contest. So if you have a great idea, I want you to think about it and maybe you can enter individually by yourself or as a group, right? So here, let's take a look at uh, the contest uh, poster and it says a new shape remodeling global cooperation. So it's focusing on how can we make this world a better place and how can we work together with your idea. So let's take a look at our first comprehension question. It says, what are the most serious threats to humanity? So humanity, like I said, are people all over the world and serious threats. What are the dangers uh, that come to all the people in the world? And remember in the article, there were several things. There were three main things and it says extreme poverty. So there are many people who are very poor in the world. Weapons of mass destruction, very dangerous weapons, and climate change, how the world is getting warmer, cooler, right? So these are the problems that affect all the people in the world. Let's look at the second question. How many languages can be used in the proposal? Remember, we said Korean is not one of them, but English is. So there are six different languages, and some of them included Mandarin and French. Uh, let's look at the last question. How much money is at stake? So how much money is in the contest that people can win? And we said it's a lot of money, $5 million. So that comes out to about 50억 in Korean money. So that's a lot of money that is put into this prize that people can win. And I believe the first place winner uh, can win up to $1 million. Uh, let's take a look at the last part of our article, which is the fill in the blank. It says, do you have any blank ideas to change the world. So what kind of ideas can change the world? So do you have any great ideas or any amazing ideas? Amazing means something that is so wonderful, right? So amazing. Uh, let's look at the second question. The contest wants to find new ways to improve the current state of blank and make a world a better place, right? So how can we make the world a better place for all the people living in it? 
So for all the people living in it, the current state of, that's right, humanity. So if you look at that root word, it's human, right? And humanity means all the people, man, woman, uh, child, men, women, and child all over the world, right? And the last question, the highest total prize money will be one something dollars. So is it one thousand dollars? How much did we say? We kept talking about the word million. So the prize for the number one best idea that can help the world and make it a better place is $1 million. So after listening to this article, after reading this article, I hope you become interested and start thinking of new ideas. Uh, many times we know that our ideas, it's not just for the sake of making money, but our great ideas should help all of humanity and make this world a better place. I hope you're inspired. I hope you want to go and make new ideas that can make this world a better place for you and for all the people in it. So until next time, I will see you again. Goodbye, everyone.